Let's try. What is beneath Oreza? You know what? Let's try the Brew Barons. Okay. <clears throat> this game looks ridiculous. Try it. Uh oh. Mr. Blue Star with the 10 gift bombs. Bring the total of subs. To 100! Thank you, buddy. Damn, the music is really good. What the hell? Um. Still too loud? Fix it. Welcome to the city of Valais, one of the few remaining communities of its kind that shines bright with opportunity. Out of a bad place to start a brewing enterprise. Do you think the locals won't mind us setting up shop here? That awful tasting pirate brand brew lines the shelves of many bars and markets in the area. If we can produce some quality brews people actually like, I'm sure we'll sway some minds and gather support. Those pirate goons might not be too happy about it, but it's entirely possible that with our new brewery and this seaplane. Let's do this. I just wish we had some money left over from the renovations to buy a better seaplane. Okay. How about that? She floats. Now, before you head off, just a reminder to keep your speed low as when entering or exiting any harbors. They have plenty of boats and obstacles and cause real harm to you in your plane if you're not careful. Okay. I'm more concerned about the illuminated rust hole shining through the floor. Rust, just think of it as weight, as weight reduction. Not bad. Okay. Anyhow, remember what I said. Oh, and try not to fly too high. The engine has carburetor issues. Bye-bye now. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Our fuel gauge. Means cargo capacity. All right. Okay. Throttle inputs are left control and left shift. Okay. Cool. Board reverse pitch toggle. All right. Oh, fish. Operations. All three floors, not bad. It may look a little run down right now, but it's just a matter of time before we turn this place into a grand establishment, revered far and wide across the islands, and push the strong arm pirates brewing monopoly out. The second floor contains the actual brewery, and atop the uh, top, the top on the top floor, since the dilapidated floor, we will eventually convert into a local bar. Okay, so we dock. All right. Cool. Her hair's going wild? It is. Welcome to the hangar. Let's jump into the basics. From here, you can craft new planes, load or modify an existing one, and purchase new blueprints from the parts catalog. 
plane always needs a pilot and co-pilot, which you can assign in the roster tab. Let's get this plane fixed up. You can open the repairs tab in the pilot information. Don't need wings! Let's construct some new wings. bottles of old cider I had off hand for a valuable piece of plane equipment. Let's start by moving all the bottles of cider from the brewing inventory to the plane inventory. Alright. Cider's now loaded in the plane's cargo space. Cool. Let's head out. I'm done. Music is too loud, says chat. Let me take a look. Music like there and sound like there. Bars located with an eye range just on the opposite side of the city. Literally on the other side of the bay, and we're flying there. I love it. Okay. I am going to crash this plane so hard. Oh, man. Here we go. Mission. I think the engine dimmer. Oh, that's cool. So it stops. It lowers the engine sound when you're actually in the plane. Wait, did I just did I just hit the wrong? Wait. Wait. Son of a biscuit. This looks hella wonky. It's mostly me. I'd say it's like 10% wonk, 90% go. Nice. Co is wonky. I am I am hella wonky, I believe is how that's properly said. Dive, ain't it? What self-respecting person would drink in such a place? I'm sure the bar we will build will be way bet. Shh, bar owners coming this way. Hey, a couple of new faces. Take a seat wherever you wish. Hi, we're not here to drink. I overheard your establishment was all in stock and are willing to exchange for some old plane equipment for more. The news spreads quickly. Is that cider? Great, you have a deal. The patrons are going to get a bit rowdy and all I have here is awful pirate brand brew. Nice. Plane equipment, be careful with it. Uh, hydro aviation can be pretty dangerous in the hands of a novice. Wait, what? Toying with hydro propulsion? You gotta be kidding me. Some of the toughest pilots out there have trouble enduring such speeds. <gasps> Ludicrous speeds. Yes. 
Can you build planes as well? Yeah, you do. You, you actually uh, like customize your planes, yeah. Oh, it's not just hydro propulsion. It's hydro projectiles too, but relax. Okay. I'll help you rig up the equipment. Bayou Bengal says, hey, Co, even though you leave the L off my last name, every time I sub and call me Bayou Benga, I still love your content. Keep it the amazing work. Bayou Benga, I appreciate your 29 months. Thank you so much for it. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. One more adjustment here and done. You're now set up to boost through the sky with a torrent of high pressure water blasting behind you. You're also able to shoot water projectiles in front of you. Oh, geez, I lost track of time, but I get back to my bar. One last thing. I have many more contracts for you. If you're able to acquire more cider or other half decent brews, I'll pay a fair price. Gotta run, take care. Okay, cool. There are ingredients scattered throughout the world that we can collect and craft into all sorts of unique brews. First things first, we should cover the basics of plane abilities. Above the compass of the plane ability bar displays a currently equipped ability and water meter. Plane abilities consume water from this meter. Okay. Let's start by testing the water boosting ability. Mouse wheel. Okay. <laughs> this is a real thing. <laughs> okay. Nope. Planes sucking up water with their water boost propeller thing. Go sip. Okay. Try boosting high into the sky. All right. Use ability left mouse button. Exactly how flying a plane works, Jack. This is all based on science. Does does your biplane not have a water boost? Come on, man. Check it out, we have a view of the whole island. There's small clusters of apple trees all around. We can try to collect some of those for brews. Shoot the apple trees with your water projectiles to knock their fruit off and swoop in and collect them. If the tree runs out of apples, move to another. The tree will grow back after several days and elapse. Oh, yeah, this is, this is how you actually harvest apples. Head back down to lower altitude and be ready to test out the water projectiles. Sounds like a plan. It's not going to be water taking necessary. I don't like the sound the engine is making. Let's fly down to the island before it comes guys. You told me to harvest apples, I'm harvesting apples. Dad, I need more suck. Die? Did I just die? 
I think I died. I think that was the end of our adventure chat. I think I just, I think I just got got. I'm pretty sure I just got got. Can't do anymore. Okay. You can head back to the brewery to process the apples. I'll place a marker to remind us where it is. Okay. Wait, oh, it's right there. Whoops. Oh, God. Uh, wait, nope. It's over there. second floor brewery you can access from the exit menu. You managed to fit a fully functional brewery on a single floor? Impressive, right? We can take all those apples we just collected and turn them into a brew in no time at all. The first thing we need to do is move the apples from the plain inventory into the brewer inventory. You can open the inventory tab to make the transfer. Great, now that the apples are available to be processed, we can briefly walk through the brewery menus. Highlight at the top of the brewery options. In addition to crafting new brews, you can also look up recipes, manage your back catalog, upgrade the brewery, and manage any delivery contracts. Oh, now this is pod racing. Anywho, goodbye for now, Co and chat mods. I must away for the morning. Also, welcome to the new subs from Mr. Blue Star with the 1000 cheer. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate that. Thank you, man. Have a great morning. Appreciate all your support, dude. Let's start by opening the create menu. The large metal pot is where we blend all of our ingredients. Highlighted is the brewery pot interface. It's used to measure percentage ratios of ingredients dispensed into the blending pot. Okay. It's important to know that the, only the top three ingredients in the pot of a sufficient quantity will count towards your brew outcome. So don't go throwing in a whole slew of different ingredients. It won't do much good. Beneath the ingredient percentage, it shows the value of your dispensed ingredients. Below that is the alcohol by volume percentage. As you dispense ingredients, the maximum alcohol potential will go up. Wonder how high we can make that. Sometimes it's important to pay attention to the max alcohol potential. Some clients prefer a hard drink and a very high alcohol percent. In this situation, you may need to carefully dispense the correct ingredients to reach a high enough alcohol potential in order to satisfy them. <laughs> I'm, already, I'm already liking this game. Some people just want to get like hammer hammered. And for them, you got to give them the best bang for their buck. So they don't need to drink a lot. Get real drunk. Mm. Here's the reset button. It's useful for you to dispense the wrong ingredients. Oh, okay. Now the fun part. This is the ingredient wheel. It allows you to cycle through all the ingredients that have been placed in the brewery inventory. You can use the dispense button just below it to drop all 100 apples of the pot. Let's do it. Oh. Wow, is it actually going to drop 100 apples? I think it did. Okay. The ingredients will blend once a total of 100 units are dispensed. Next, we'll add yeast to the mixture, which will convert into alcohol. Pay attention to the rise in alcohol percentage while adding the yeast. Wait, how do I do this? Oh, you can add yeast by holding down the scoop and releasing the scoop button. The longer you hold, the more yeast will be scooped. Okay. I don't know. Um, is that a lot? One, one scoop. Okay. So the max we can do is 17.8. How much, how much do we want? How much do we want to put in? Do I 
just keep doing this until it gets to 17. Okay, I have to admit, this part seems a little unnecessary. Like, this should, this feels, this is weird. This fills up really slow. <laughs> I mean, no one would put a scoop in that slowly if you see how slowly that scoop's going in. Okay, there we go. We good? Pick a method of brewing. Next, we'll process the mixture. We can ferment it, which will produce a higher yield of drinks with low value and alcohol percentage, or we can ferment and distill, which will produce a lower yield and a higher value product and alcohol percentage. Take note that each method will produce a different type of brew. In this case, the apple mixture can either become cider or brandy. Oh, apple brandy? Ooh. I want some apple brandy. Damn. Apple cider. Our mixture has been turned into a cider in just a matter of moments. This particular brew turned out a little basic. As a result, the value is low. No worries. Next time we can try crafting a brew with multiple ingredients to produce a better product. You now choose to discard the brew or proceed to bottle it. Select bottle. We can start to customize our product to our liking. We can change the bottle appearance and rename the product to anything we'd like. When you're happy with the design, you can press the finish button. That's fun, dude. That's cool. I think that's good for, for cider. And there's a lot of them. Basic's good for this one. I mean, it's, just, it's just basic apple cider. Bottle weathering? Oh! <laughs> nice, okay. Those cracks? What is that exactly? Um. Mm. Nice. I should have called it Coe's Basic Hard Cider. Our new cider brew will now appear under the My Products menu. This menu is used to produce more units of any branded brews you've already crafted. Should a client request a branded brew that's out of stock, you can open this menu to produce more if you have sufficient ingredients. There's one last step. Seeing as we have no client contracts requesting cider, we can stock the cider at our own bar, though first we must set up the bar. All right. This is it. There used to be a bunch of old antiques collecting dust up here. It may not look like much, and the floors creak terribly, but with some work, we can turn this place into a cozy bar. On the stock full of our own brewing brew products, that would be great. I have to start with a basic tarnished floor plan for the time being. With enough puns, the bar can be renewed and polished. In doing so, it will gather our bar more fame. This is the fame meter. Nice. It will be easy, but our goal is to create a renowned top tier bar, known bar, and why? In that case, we should style the bar according to the types of brew we want to sell. A bar patron that prefers cider might enjoy a classic bar theme, or as a wine drinker, might prefer a more elegant theme. Vodka. Yeah. Oh. Chat's hole. Interesting choice. Fortunately, we can always change it later. You can always upgrade your theme and adjust the visuals of your bar from this, these menus. You want to make sure to upgrade your theme when you have enough money. It not only cleans up the bar, but also grants an extra theme. Oh, wow.
You're just saying you might have wanted to put the bar on the first floor. No one wants to get drunk and then have to take like three stairs. Open the inventory, make the transfer. Open for business. Nice. Visiting your bar periodically. You gossip with the locals. Okay. Cool. You know, real talk, little little shout shout out to the devs here. It would be super cool if when you stock stuff in your bar. Oh look, we have our first customer. Uh, no, I'm gonna get flying. Thanks. Um, it'd be super cool if when you stock stuff in your bar, it put the bottles and labels and stuff you created in the back. You could actually like see the the stuff you come up with. That'd be so cool. Yeah. Oh, I can't go talk to him. Okay, fine. Oh, I was gonna tell him to get out of my bar. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Catalog. Water missiles. Yes. On tunes. Detects buried coins in lowland soil. What? It sounds like Fallout 76 music. So, is this basically all a sandbox game? Like, are there any story elements? I wonder. Now the technical information is out of the way, we're free to do what we want. We can explore, collect ingredients, and make new brews. However, they're, we are nearly broke, so one thing we should do is visit local bars and see if they want to buy any of our brews. Okay. Oh, cool. Alright, so it looks like there is, like, a... What is, what is that? Was that old eye? Oh, does that mean I'm docked? Wait. What's going on here? No, oh, I want to go. How do I shoot people on the street, and do I get their ingredients if I do it? What is that? How do I how do I harvest long pig? I want to make some long pig fruit. Is that a thing? If I shoot cars, can I make like an engine oil fruit? Seriously, I'll stop being a jerk. <laughs> He's on to me, Chad. He's on to me. Oh, there's stuff right there. Realistic. We have to tease through. There's places we can dock here. That's how you harvest. 
these grapes off the grape trees. Right? Cause I heard it through the grape tree. No, it's not. Sunken wreck spotted? Funny. It's a minor damage now. Whoop! Get the damn fish! I will get the damn boat. Salvage wreck. Check it out. A salvageable wreck lays below. There are many alike all over the world. But this one is mine! We can try to use hooks on our anchor and retrieve them. Use WS and move the hook back and Worth and back, use A and D to move the hook left and right. Oh my lord, dude. What? We only have a small winch right now. It's crane game. Why do those sharks look like they're plated or something? I have no indication where this thing actually is. Oh. Object too heavy. Don't chop my stuff, bro. Oh. God, this is gonna be just as an oh, 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 yeah, buddy. Woo, there it is. Okay, action. Applause, please. Believe in yourself! Oh god. Oh god, we're like super hooked, chat. I don't think this is coming up. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, dang.
So this game looks like it's going to be a pretty basic sandbox experience. Looks like it's going to be pretty chill. A lot of just like flying around. I think there is combat. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm guessing there is combat in the demo. We saw a lot of it in the video. Let's try going to the... Uh, I'd love to see a little bit of the combat. Let's try going here and maybe the pirates will be pissed off if we're off the car and not just the so Apparently there is air combat. Looks like the alpha still has some bugs in the demo. I mean, obviously I was, that was a perfect landing because for some reason the game didn't register it properly. It's okay though, it's just the demo. Stuff they can fix before release. the water to slow us down. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Usually docking isn't done at 150 miles per hour. See, obviously you don't know how to dock Oi, oi, welcome to the dog and shovel. I'm Old Man McGee, proprietor. Fancy a pint? I would like a pint. That's the good stuff. Nothing beats a... Is it a mega pint, though? I only drink mega pints. What can I do for you? Um, let's talk about pirate brews. We started. Okay, you're interested in a new brewing supplier? Okay. Meant beer. Wheat and apple. So we gotta get some wheat and we gotta get some apples. Okay. The notification on the panel shows HUD shows this over oh, right here. Okay. These are something we should attend to. In this case, it means we have a new contract. Manage it by pressing the brew context button to dock the menu. Okay. Quickly wheat. Set. The manager delivery contracts for person brew contest button on the docking menu. Let's do that now. Wait, what? What? Uh oh. Wait. Benny. Oh no. Yeah, hey, look at her squinting. She's sus now. Did you just bug my game in front of 15,000 people? Hmm. Pretty sus. Um. Or bug. Bug. Couldn't adjust my caps lock key. Couldn't accept first contract. See title. Bugged out during tutorial. Like the behavior optional. Expected to accept the mission. Okay, send. Cool. Okay. Let's try going right back in. Oh, there's no continue.
That was the Brew Barons. Um, looks pretty cool. I mean, I could I could see us maybe doing that for a cozy cozy stream. Um, was was a pretty chill experience. Uh, just real quick to make a hundred percent certain. Let's open this up and and maybe the continue button will pop up. Take a quick look. Okay. Mm -mm. One second. All right. Cool. So that was Brew Barons. Let's see. What did we try next? Let's try Sapiens. What Sapiens is. Bow, bow. Cool setting. I thought it was cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it was a super chill game. Um, looked like there was some fun sandbox elements. There was some customization stuff. Clearly, you decide what to do when, which was a lot of fun. So, yeah, I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. 